It's Casey Brown to this show. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to my beautiful people. It's another beautiful day that God has given to us. That's why we are here again. If it's your first time here, please try to subscribe and leave a hand on the notification bell for more videos and updates. So that anytime I drop videos, you'll be first person to be notified. So you can come around and grab a new update and a vital update. So today, let's talk about this uh, sanatorium. You know that today is the feast of all workers. So the Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of uh, Interior, they are talking about uh, the workers and uh, how they're going to secure the workers, how they're going to give them uh, a, a better, you know, future of a dome because uh, they are working so how they are planning for the workers this year this season and mostly uh, in the agricultural system what the uh, Minister of Agriculture she's uh, saying and what she's thinking about you know about the regularization of uh, irregular migrants so let me give you what she just uh, updated the Italian Minister of Agriculture Teresa Bellanova recently stated that in time of coronavirus we, the northern of the country, is particularly damaged by the pandemics. We truly realize that it is we who need the immigrations rather than them who need themselves. You see? Benanova is referring to the increasing demand of migrant workers in agriculture to help Italy maintain a fully operative food and agricultural production chain. You know, the National Conf Confederation of Agricultural Producers claimed that 40% of the agricultural products might go to waste if the needed labor force for the re seasonal harvest harvesting of fruit and vegetable is not in place. And quickly, over, over 370 workers, according to them, are now need needed to harvest agri food and products this year so you have listened to the update of this uh of today the, there is a minister of agriculture you know these are the sectors that fight they are fighting for you know the agriculture the you know the farmers and the fishing you know that's the main you know projects they are fighting for so the minister of work of work that is uh, the minister of work he she said uh, yesterday that um now those people who are receiving this uh, citizenship money they can still apply to work in the, in the in the agricultural you know sector if they want to work they can still apply they will still pay them their you know citizenship and they will still be working but if they just want to try them if they like the work they will stop paying there so they can fix themselves as uh, seasonal workers understand but if they don't like the work they can still go back to their citizenship understand so they want to try them if they want to work when they try some days they like the work they can fix them working you know regular with contract and be paying them well because the citizenship money we all know amount that is almost 600 euros but he said if any of them like the work they can fix themselves in these uh, sectors but if you don't like the work you go back to your citizenship that is they offer them so that they can you know they can fix the gap of the you know people who are coming from the other you know countries to work as a you know laborers as a farmers but they cannot come of the you know block down of the borders so they are you know pleading to some italian citizens who are on in play to come and work also if they want to work so they are pleading for the you know the citizens to come and work because Italy is in increasing. They are in crisis. No, sir, they are in crisis. So if they did not fix this uh this uh this year season, seasonal uh, harvesting, the fruits and the vegetables, it may be waste. So that is why they are asking for them to you know put on this sanatorium for the irregular migrants so they can work regularly so they can fix that you know they can secure their their health they can secure the, you know documents they can secure you know work for them because it's seasonal work understand so they don't want all those people who do not pay tax to the government who do not pay contribute to the government to use these seasonal workers to work and they and they will earn more and they will, they will benefit more and uh, the minister of agriculture says she don't want that because she has seen a lot of irregular migrants working without documents and many of them are living in stockholm you know the place the, the place they're living is not good so she has seen a lot so that's why she's saying okay let's bring you no know, so we can regularize these people who are willing to work who are willing to work it's not for everybody who are willing to work 
so they can regularize them like give it their seasonal uh, working permits so they can be regularized so they can you know fix contract for them so they can, their heads can be you know secure also in case if any of them fall sick so they can go for you know treatment so that's what they are you know thinking about this sanatorium so now the Belano, that is the minister of agriculture that is Teresa Belanova is referring to the increasing dam demand for increasing demand for migrant workers in agriculture to help Italy maintain a fully operative food and agricultural production chain. Understand? The National Confederation of Agricultural Producers claimed that 40% of the agricultural products might go to waste if they did not pass this law. Understand? If they did not pass this law this year, the agricultural 40% of agricultural products might go to waste if the, if the needed labor force for the seasonal harvesting of fruits and vegetables is not placed and quickly, they must quickly place it now. So that's why yesterday the Minister of Work said that they need people to come and work. Now, if the citizens are ready to work, they can apply, they can go and work, they can be paying down the citizenship and they will be still be working. Then later then, if they like the work, they can fix them, you know, by working as a you know laborer as, as a farmer also. Because they have you know in the citizen have you know almost three million unemployed people, but because of the you know the opposition are fighting for the you know citizens so okay the circuit right now if the citizen want to work as a farmer as this laborers they can come and work so they can be paying there and they can be working so then later if they like the work they can fix themselves as the seasonal workers so maybe they can stop paying their the citizenship but maybe if you don't like it like two three days you don't like it you can go back home they will still be paying you so they know they know that maybe many of the citizens may, may, might not like the work so that's why the, the Minister of Agriculture is saying that that's why she wants to use the irregular migrant also to work in this sector because she knows that they want to work. She knows that they want to benefit. If they pass this law, they can benefit by having this document. They can, you know, be working regularly because many of them want to feast their life. Many of them don't want to live the kind of life they are living now, living in Stockholm, living in, you know, in a you know former settlement you know place no running water they don't, don't have good water they don't have a, a better environment understand because these mafias are using them to work they will give them this stock place to stay you know she say mostly the black the black africans mostly the black africans so why is this you know the hatred to these people so that's why she said, okay, let's let us pass this law so that these people can benefit by having documents. These people can benefit by going to you know to access for you know to medication. Guys, many, even many people are thinking about this. So if they don't want to pass this in Australia in my own way, they can still put on this uh surveying law, this uh um, natural disaster, that sees most uh, natural disaster, but you cannot convert it to you know to another document. So many people don't want that document because that. It will help because after the six months you read to six months the document is finished so you can still return to you know irregular migrants so that's what that fighting for this sanatorium so that's many can be working many can want many can many many of these irregular migrants we willing to work many of them can find job so that's why the minister of agriculture is fighting for the agricultural sectors and the farming sectors and the fishing sectors and the minister of uh, interior she's fighting for other sectors like the 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 domestic workers or other sectors of workers who are working also understand because they have many migrants who are working but they are irregular and they will be using those people the way they want because these people are not contributing these people are just working freely they can they will underpay them so that's what these people are bringing more i guess in this sanatorium this year so we are praying that they should pass this sanatorium because these agricultural sectors there are over 370 workers you know missing and needed to harvest agri food products this year understand so now they are talking about it they are talking that there there are many you know positive thoughts about this sanatorium this year the Italian agricultural sector has always been higher dependent on migrants. You see? You see? 
you see. The Italian agricultural sector has always been highly dependent on migrant laborers for continue, you know, to continue in production and market distribution. Over, you know, out of over 1 million agricultural workers, of, you know, out of over 1 million agricultural workers with regular contracts, about 28% are migrants and 53% of them are from another AU country. Why the rest come from outside the AU? Widely recognize that the number of migrants employed in the agricultural sector is well above this figure. Since they include the irregular farm workers, the number of immigrants employed in agriculture is well above the 400,000 of the workforce, with an estimate 16.5% employed through informal contracts and 39% working at much lower wage than the regulated contracts. You see people who work without contracts, who are irregular, you know, they are irregular migrants. They pay them low, they underpay them because they don't have contracts. We find higher numbers of migrants, of migrants, agricultural workers in the central northern districts of Lazio, Lombardia, Emilia, Romania, Agribusiness is one of Italy's main economic resources, but the sector is still, but the sector is still characterized by the brutal form of labor, exploit, exploitation, and you know segregation, with direct and wide-ranging consequences on the health and condition of these you know migrants. The place these people stay. The place they put these people because they're irregular. Without no electricity, no running water, no better water for them. Huh? And the NGO they call this as a they they call these things inhuman. Understand? They are not free. Okay, now the government are saying now uh, they should not give them this. Uh, they should not pass this material. But they are these people are saying that this. You say they should not pass this material. Okay, if you want to take these people back to their country, but this crisis is still there in their country. This coral crisis is still there. Their life is not safe in their country also. So that's why these people they find you know, Italy is the second largest you know production of fruit and vegetables in Europe. This is the Italy main economic resources, this farm, you know, this farm and agricultural sectors. So these workers are willing to work. These workers have, you know, they have been working before. Now they need workers. Now they say, okay, let's open door for the, you know, for the, for, for the citizens. If they want to work, they own employed people so they can come and work also. Because if not, so this year harvesting will be collapsed, and the agricultural sector is in risk this year. So that's why they are saying they need, they need workers. Three hundred and seventy or three hundred and fifty workers missing. So I don't know. So they are still. That's why they are bringing more bits about this material. Let me read one page for you. This there is there are lots of you know many 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 you know, stories in here. Many you can read. You can read. And read and read so let me read one line for you on the other hand the new state of emergency triggered by the coronavirus has dramatically worsened the condition of the many migrant farm workers already in the country mostly coming from outside the au several of them have entered the country in the past as asylum seekers many have lost their refuge status as a result of stricter asylum rules it's a it's it is estimated that over 26,000 migrants have lost their refuge status as a consequence of Savini retreative regularization and even more of them will be made homeless in the near future 
in the in the labor camps of Roma, uh, Rosano and Calabria. The agricultural work in the Orange Grove have during this week is drawing to close. Many migrant farm workers are now stuck in the villa in the town. And this is ghetto, ghetto place without electricity or running water under conditions. Eh? The hay you describe as inhuman because they're irregular. So that's why they're begging the authorities to pass this uh, sanitary. So that's, these people can, you know, they can have regular contracts so they can, you know, access to, you know, to health care. So that these mafias will not exploit them to, you know, to work in the farm and, you know, use them the way they want. Mostly the Africans. Understand? So that's why this people are, you know, bringing more updates about this. I have more, 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 more stories about this material. I'll be bringing more, more about this. So guys, let me stop from here. So this is today's update for today. So guys, stay connected. More updates will be coming in. So we'll be bringing out our voices so that they can know that things is not, you know, it's not going well. And uh, we pray that things will be, be well soon. So when they're seeing us doing this, they'll know that uh, we are, we know many about this natural. We know what is going on. So let's back up the, you know, the Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of Interior with this, our videos. Let's be doing more. Let's be supportive. Let's love ourselves. Let's positive, you know, let's be positive between ourselves. If we love ourselves, things can change in our lives. So guys, stay connected and stay blessed and stay safe. Bye for now. I love you guys. Thank you.